Hi, and welcome to the Frog Pond School of Design, where we like to talk about things that might be of interest to the architect in you, okay? Uh, I talked earlier in this series about Stanford White. Stanford White was the renowned architect from New York who, among other buildings, had designed Madison Square Garden. And one night uh, during the summer of 1906, uh, he was on the roof of that building at a party and was approached by the husband of a young woman with whom uh, White had earlier had a very brief affair. The man said something about, you have ruined my wife, and he shot Stanford White dead on the spot. It just got me wondering if how many noted architects, other architects, have died of uh, strange, in strange situations. So I did a little research and came up with a few. First one goes clear back to the Renaissance. And again, I've talked before on this uh, forum about uh, the feud between uh, Bernini and Borromini and, uh, and what all that involved. But uh, Borromini, who always seemed to come up short compared to Bernini, at one point uh, had lost out on a couple commissions that went to Bernini and he promptly went home and uh, pulled down his sword and did himself in. He was a very dark kind of person um, as it was and apparently losing those two, uh, two commissions were just too much for him. Uh, next in line would be Antoni Gaudi and there's another one I've talked about on here before. He designed the Sagrada Familia Church in Barcelona, Spain. He really dedicated his life to this church. He actually moved in and was living uh, within the church while it was, was being built. And one day um, in uh, 1926, he was early 70s at this time, he was out on the street and he was struck by a tram uh, severely injured. Uh, trouble was nobody knew who he was. He appeared to be kind of a, a street person. So they hauled him to a hospital but didn't really do much for him until he died. And suddenly uh, then the, the folks came and realized who he was and took care of him. And the, the sad part is had they recognized him earlier he might not have died quite at that time. But he did. They thought he was uh, a beggar. In 1967, Le Corbusier went for a swim in the uh, Mediterranean and uh, ended up dead. Now, there are a lot of people who say, well, he drowned. And, but there's also a, a pretty reliable story that his doctor had advised him not to have these swims that he insisted on having. Uh, because he had a heart condition and in fact he probably actually died of a heart attack. Again, that was 1967. In 1974, Louis Kahn had a heart attack and died as well. The uh, unusual part about this is it happened in the men's room in Penn Station in New York. And again though, as with the case with Gowdy, they didn't recognize him at first. It was three days before people came to uh, to claim him and um, admit that they were his family. The really strange part about this was there were three different families who showed up, none of which knew about the others. So uh, again, that was Louis Kahn, I guess. Um, see, talking about all these makes one think, well, what about Frank Lloyd Wright? Well, I don't want to disappoint you, but Wright died of natural causes at the age of 91. However, that doesn't mean that his life wasn't without um, murder, mayhem, <laughs> and mystery. Uh, early, sometime, at one point in his career, he took up with uh, the wife of one of his clients. And uh, she was able to get a divorce from her husband to go be with, with Wright Wright's wife, however, wouldn't consent to uh, a divorce, so undaunted, he built, this is when he built Taliesin in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, people called it their love nest. 
this was 1914 and when they moved in together this was very much frowned upon this was not an accepted thing a uh, hundred years ago so they were living at Taliesin and one day when Wright was in Chicago on business uh, a, a handyman that worked for him and there there he had quite a staff there uh, it was lunchtime and his lady friend and her children were having lunch in the dining room and this guy came in with a hatchet and killed the three of them uh, then he promptly locked all the doors and set the house on fire so others died that way and he used the hatchet on anybody who tried to get out seven people died altogether that was in uh, 1914 and shows that uh, there are lots of strange things happened in in Frank Lloyd Wright's life as well so there you have it uh, thanks for joining us today on the Frog Pond School of Design I hope to see you hanging around the pond again real soon